And to Boronu, where the state government led efforts of the Maritala Mohammed and Sahara Foundations for awarding scholarships and e-learning gadgets to 15 students of the University of Meduguri. The government believes it will go a long way towards reviving the education sector, which has been devastated by over a, long, a decade-long insurgency. And TVC News correspondent Jesse Tafida reports. The education sector in Nigeria, especially northeastern part of the country, is confronted with the challenges of the Boko Haram insurgents. The insurgency has led to the destruction of about 1,400 schools in the state, and over 600 teachers have been killed. This has resulted to about 3 million children losing access to education. Many parents have lost their means of livelihood due to the insurgency making it hard for them to pay tuition fees for their children. Governments, NGOs and philanthropists are now coming forward to revive the education sector. This time around, scholarships and e-learning gadgets were given to 15 students from the University of Meiduguri, courtesy of the Murtala Mohammed and the Sahara Foundation. This gesture was meant to bring soccer to the most vulnerable students of the institution. We're here today to meet with the ministry to advocate, particularly on issues regarding how insurgency has affected education, and also to advocate for, educate, for technology, the role of technology in the future of education of, of, of children and students in the Northeast. Peculiarly with the Northeast, we've seen how things have happened, the killings, the displacement, and with this, we think that um, once we empower people with the right knowledge, access to the right tools, they can be able to learn and compete with students across the country. Among the beneficiaries is 18-year-old Yusuf, a student of dentistry at the Yusuf Meduguri. He shares with TVC News how hard it has been for his parents to sponsor his education thus far. It has been really hard because my parents have been struggling paying my registration. Because we are almost three, and we are, both we are all studying at the university, so we have been struggling. It really helped me, not me only, it, it also helps my parents. The story was the same with Mariam, who is a 200-level student of chemistry from the same institution. When I got this scholarship, um, it helps me a lot, both academically and financially. The Bruno State Government appreciates the assistance rendered by the organizations and urged them to sustain the temple. The intervention is very good in the sense that uh, most of these students are people from low-income groups and uh, some of them displace uh, people. The beneficiaries of this scholarship have been charged to reciprocate this gesture by studying hard in school. Jesse Tafida, TVC News, Maiduguri.